Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial, and today it's on the Honeypot plugin. So, this is a really fantastic grief prevention plugin that allows you to catch bad actors in the process of doing something by creating these honeypots or traps for them. So, the way it works is when they break a block like this, it will do something. So, it can give them a warning message, it can kick them from the server, it can ban them, or it could do something else that you can customize, such as broadcast or taking money from them. So let's jump into how this plugin works. So we can do the command forward slash honeypot or forward slash HP. That's going to bring up the GUI and there's a few things in here. We can create honeypots, we can remove honeypots, we can list them all, and then we can locate ones within a certain radius of us and query a player's history to see if they've been naughty. So if we hit locate, it's going to actually highlight all the blocks around us within five blocks that are honeypots. And as you can see, these ones are and the other gold blocks are not. So that means if we destroy some of these gold blocks, like this one, nothing happens. However, if I destroy the one to the right, you will see I get a warning message saying I destroyed a honeypot and it was removed rather than being taken into my inventory. Now the ones up here have some other punishments. So let's take a look at these honey blocks. If I destroy this first one, two things are gonna happen. I'm gonna be fined a thousand dollars and I'm going to have my inventory cleared, which is quite a punishment. If I destroy this next one, it's actually gonna kick me from the server saying don't grief. And then finally, this last one is the harshest punishment. If I destroy this emerald one, you see it actually bans me from the server. So obviously if I try to rejoin, I am currently banned for breaking a honeypot. So now that I've unbanned myself, we want to do forward slash HP while looking at a target block. And then we want to hit create a honeypot. This gives us the option whether we want to have a default punishment, kick, ban, or warn. And then we can have some other stuff over here such as notify, do nothing, or a custom item. So these are the three custom ones by default. So this one took a thousand dollars and cleared my inventory. There is one that removes permissions from you. And then this one broadcasts a message. So if we click this, that is going to create a honeypot. If we do forward slash HP, followed by list all honeypots, it gives you a list of them. And if you click one of them, it will teleport you on top of it, which is pretty handy. If we go back into forward slash HP, we can remove a honeypot. Now you can remove one you're looking at nearby ones within five blocks or all of them like so finally you can do four slash hp create and this is the manual way to create one and that is going to work the same as the gy if you've made any changes to the config file you can do hp reload so here we are in the sm picnic control panel and as you can see there's quite a few files and we're going to start with the config.yml so there's a few things in here you can change so if we scroll down a little bit you can set the number of blocks broken before an action is taken now by default this is one so the first honeypot they break is going to get them punishment however you could be a bit more lenient and make that higher then do you want an explosion to destroy a honey block such as tnt or creepers or gas this is false by default and same thing for enderman now if we scroll down a little bit we've got the search range so when we use the locate button and the near it's going to be within five blocks. Then we've got filter settings so if you want to set these to true you can only allow certain blocks to be honeypots for example diamond door only in this case. And the other file we want to look at is the honeypots.yml this is where you can create custom ones so here are the three custom ones we saw in game. Here is the one that we actually used so it took a thousand dollars and it cleared our inventory and it sent us a message as well. Now the easiest thing to do is actually just copy and paste if you're creating another one and then all you need to do really is just rename it and jazz it up a little. So here we are on the speaker page. You can see it's updated from 1.17 to 1.19 and it's got some great information here and a wiki as well. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.